There are 7,000 known rare diseases, and approximately 95% of these have no licensed treatment. Developing any drug is a long and expensive process, but for rare diseases, the situation is even more difficult. Smaller patient populations make research more challenging and the opportunity to get a return on investment smaller. Let's take a closer look at what's involved in developing treatments for rare diseases. The first step in developing a drug is understanding the medical condition it is seeking to treat. Researchers attempt to identify a biological target, such as a gene or protein, that can be affected to alter the course of the disease. Then they set about identifying a compound that will interact with it, a process that can involve examining tens of thousands of molecules and lead to many dead ends. For rare diseases, a researcher's task is particularly challenging, as compared to more common diseases, there is a much smaller pool of pre-existing knowledge from which to begin work. And as no pre-existing treatments exist for most rare diseases, the task of identifying a disease-altering target and compound must often be started from scratch. The next stage of the process involves developing a medicine ready to be tested on humans. This phase is fraught with difficulties, and 80 to 90% of projects will never make it beyond this point. Researchers first aim to narrow down the thousands of potential compounds into one lead compound. The lead compound is then optimized through testing in cells and animals, using computational models and artificial intelligence to understand how it will interact with the human body and if it is ready for clinical trials. The process can take more than five years and cost over 500 million pounds and is particularly risky for small and medium-sized companies who have to develop specialist expertise and may not be making money from other medicines already on the market. The clinical trials phase is designed to ensure a drug is safe and effective in humans. Clinical trials can last up to 15 years and be halted at any time due to issues around results, lack of funding or rival drugs reaching the market first. For rare diseases, the problems are magnified, with a lack of knowledge on the natural history of the disease making it difficult to design a study. Small and geographically dispersed patient populations presenting significant challenges around data generation and clinical trial recruitment. And around half of rare disease patients are children, which makes trials more difficult and creates ethical problems in the recruitment process. These challenges mean that treatments for rare diseases can have high upfront costs and face high levels of clinical uncertainty, which can make it difficult to obtain regulatory approval and demonstrate cost effectiveness. Despite this, the development of drugs for rare diseases is hugely worthwhile, as these treatments can transform the lives of patients and their families. It is vital that we continue to invest in the next generation of medicines. Thank you.